Well, listen, Joe does know turf, but uh, I am here on a mission tonight, a mission, gentlemen, uh, to prove that our friend Ron does not know turf. And we're going to get another clip from Ron here right now. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that. That's F. He says, um, Ron, thanks for all you do. How can I bring up my boron levels? I'm sitting at 0.13 in the soil test. Uh, the total soil oh, test says, okay, cool. I got you. Speaking of so for your what? boron levels, what I would say, Lance, is if you go to go to the golf course lawn store, go to shop, and then go to the lawn fertilizer section, which is highly curated, by the way, and you go to Nutrizol. This has got all of your micronutrient demands covered. In Nutrizol, you will find boron, copper, chelated iron, molybdenum, manganese, and zinc. So your boron levels are a little bit low. This will correct that because it has it, right? So the application rate what? for Nutrizolve is six ounces per thousand. So six ounces mixed with a gallon of water sprayed over a thousand square feet. And that will help correct your boron levels. It'll help, it'll help bump those up. So Holy that is what I would smokes. use. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to ask real quick. Just, and I don't need you to go into Google Scholar and search for it or anything like that, but from a professional anecdotal perspective here, gentlemen, how many times have you had to walk up to a customer's lawn and, well, Mrs. Jones, it's bad. Mm -hmm. What is it? What is it? It's your boring levels. I was afraid to tell you the lawn's not going to make it. All we can do now is make it feel comfortable until the end. Have you ever had to have that fucking conversation? No, you haven't, because it doesn't exist. There is no such thing as a boron deficiency that's going to appreciably affect turf in any meaningful way. Now, you're going to get all the zealots that come out here and want to tell you that you got to manipulate this and manipulate that, but find me a way, right? Where is turf truth when you need them, right? Actually, I got, They'll I got tell one you word for thing. you. All right. Where is, where is Travis Shaddix? Because I would love mm -hmm. to hear... His take on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Travis would probably yeah. dig in on this one, too, uh, for sure. He, yeah, he would get hot Tra about this. He, he, would get, yeah. he would get hot because. Uh, we'll set up a timestamp. Yeah. Here's my experience is that I've never had an instance where boron was the limiting nutrient in a turf area. Never. But, However, truth. Go ahead. Go but, ahead. Go ahead. But wait. But I remember dealing with a landscape where part of my nutrient application for that landscape involved a half ounce of borax per thousand square foot applied one time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The old 20 little team. Yeah. 20, and, and the reason why I had to do that is because that landscape did have obvious issues with number one, the palm trees. And number two, the woody shrub ornamentals. Those are the plants that can exhibit boron deficiencies. But you know what? That guy's emerald zoysia lawn had no freaking problems. And so I skipped applying the borax to his lawn. <laughs> Serious. Now listen, uh, here's the thing. is uh, the, the, the part that really chaps my ass about this is that, number one, okay, there's only two things that are happening here, right? One is ignorance, right? You don't know that, hey, boron, who cares? Hey, bro, like, just, you know, don't worry about that. Worry about NPK. You're fine. Mm -hmm. And and then sell them on your NPK. Like, if that's the mm -hmm. route you got to go and you got to sell the sizzle, sell your mm -hmm. sizzle where it matters, right? Like, this is making other people think, oh, man, my boron levels are down. The only thing I can do is go onto this highly curated website of bullshit and buy this fucking product that, really isn't going to make a difference, right? Other than to make people feel good about their numbers. So listen, I took the advice from the original Ron Henry clip that we just watched here a few minutes ago about fungicides. Okay. <laughs> and I was worried because, you know, we're about to be into the, you know, the hot, wet weather way and we trudge around in wet, muddy fields and all this other stuff during construction season. I'm worried about athlete's foot. And even though I'm not seeing athlete's foot yet, I went to Ron Henry's <laughs> curated website highly curated website and you know what i did boom tough acting to acted all over my entire <laughs> body so that i have no sores or spores or anything else that's gonna hurt me or somebody else because that's how we 69
Thank you for watching this clip. Be sure to tune in to the Burn and Return podcast on any of your favorite podcast apps every Wednesday where we discuss the industry's hottest news. Thank you.